So I actually got my hair cut today. I got a lot cut off on the ends. It was a lot longer and just really dry and unhealthy but I got some layers and then just cut it so it's nice and healthy and I also got my fringe kind of freshened up a little bit just touched up a little bit so it kind of blends into the rest of my hair it feels so much healthier now and I'm really really happy with it it just looks so much better now so super happy with that Today I'm actually going on a solo drive to a little town called Lock. It's about an hour away from Melbourne. Really, really cute, very picturesque. A lot of things that you can take photos of. Cafes and little shops and stores and an art gallery. There's also a Pilates studio, which I actually tried to get into so I can kind of do like a morning session, start there. But they had a wait list, so I thought, okay, that's okay. What I kind of wanted to do today is go for a drive take my camera and take some photos. And then afterwards, if I'm in the mood or if I have energy, I can go to the beach. So I've brought my swimwear and all my beachy stuff as well. I thought I would just show you what I'm gonna wear today. So I've just got on my Kukai black tank top, the one that I've shown recently. I've got my classic necklace that I wear all the time from Tiffany. And then I've got this one that I actually thrifted, but I think that it's actually an Italian like Italian jewelry because when I saw it I recognized it from a bracelet that I already have. When I went to Italy with my dad and my sister quite a few years ago when we were younger we got these bracelets from Italy and it has this kind of detail. The necklace has really similar detail I thought it was just very pretty and kind of neutral I think it goes nice with the outfit. I'm just wearing some white linen pants, Oriton white bag, so I'm going to bring this one. It holds a lot of things in there. I've even got my camera in there, so I kind of want it to just hold everything I need for the day. So I can kind of wear it like this or put it crossbody as well. But this is the camera that I'm going to bring today. It's just a Fujifilm X-E2 and I got this quite a few months ago, maybe last year in September and second hand on Facebook marketplace and I love it so far I've used it quite a few times and I really like it for that kind of film style of photography but in digital forms it's almost nine o'clock so I'm going to actually head off and go to the grocery store I'm going to get a few pieces of you know some fruit I'm going to get some cheese just a few things that I can snack on and also because it was my birthday a few days ago I'm actually going to go claim my boost drink so you can get a birthday boost which is just the smoothies and stuff so I'm going to go get that let's go So first stop is this little kind of like suspension bridge. I'm gonna go for a little walk on it and take some photos as well. But it looks really cute and 
it looks really nice to kind of walk on and take photos. So just realized I'm out of focus, but that's fine. Hey guys, I'm gonna get ready now. I'm going with my sister to a restaurant slash bar situation type of thing. I'm just gonna walk into a couple of places just to see whoever has space and just have a drink or two. It is a Friday today, so I finished work, had a little nap and just did things around the house, but I'm just gonna start getting ready. I've done a little bit of my makeup. I'm not actually doing a whole bunch to my face. I just, I kind of just want to keep it really simple. I did use the Say blush on my cheeks. This is a blush that I used recently in one of my unboxing type of videos. So I really like this one so far. I've used it basically every day. I wear it to the office and so far I really like it. It's very dewy. I'll probably do my hair right before we go. But for now, I just want to figure out what I want to wear. So I kind of want to keep it simple, but kind of cute at the same time. I don't think I want to wear heels. I want to be casual, but comfy. Don't want to wear sneakers either, but I might choose one of my flats that I've got. Okay, so one of my outfit options is I've got this black tank top on, and then I've got a black really kind of like little mini skirt. So I'll show you that as well. But for shoes, to be honest, whatever I pick tonight to wear, I think I'll just go with my Zara ballet flats, the Mary Jane kind of style. These have just got like that little buckle on the front, and I think these look really cute, but still really kind of put together I guess or like add a little bit of interest to an outfit so I'm gonna wear these because they're really comfortable actually and I've worn them so many times before so I think that they'll be a good walking around kind of option so I'm gonna wear these I've also got this navy blazer I could wear on top because it might be a little bit cold but I might also wear something else so I'm gonna see what that looks like feels quite formal on the top. Maybe the ballet flats will kind of make it a little bit more the vibe I want. Mm. Okay, so I've tried a few things on and I'm just, I'm having a harder time than I thought I would. I don't know why all of a sudden everything has just gone out my head and I don't know what to wear. It might be because I'm tired after working today, but I've got this kind of like a drape neck top. Um, it's just all black and it kind of goes down and I could either wear it over my skirt or kind of tuck it in or something. I don't know if this is a vibe. I don't know if it kind of fits the vibe that I'm kind of going for. So I might... Only because the bag kind of feels really kind of fancy. So then maybe if I wore like a white tee and then jeans I could probably wear this or just to kind of spice it up, but I feel like my outfit's already a little bit like, like it's all black. I don't know, honestly, it's Friday night. I don't know, I can't think. I don't even know where we're gonna go, so I'm still deciding. We'll see where we end up. 
and came back. So I've got this bag that I thrifted. It's just a little shoulder bag and it's kind of really cute. I feel like that might be more the vibe. I'm not sure, we'll see. Actually needed for such a long time is a pair of really simple white sneakers that I can wear to the office uh, day out just with skirts dresses pants anything like that but basically white sneakers that just weren't too chunky or too sporty because I've got those already but I just needed a really classic sneaker I was looking online and I used to have the Vea sneakers which I loved I loved how they look but they were a little bit pricey I think they're around the $240 mark I use those quite a bit and honestly I basically ruined them they were they served their purpose so I've had them for quite a while so I haven't had any really good classic white sneaker for some time except for maybe my Sambas but which I wear to the office sometimes but sometimes I just want that really classic simple white sneaker so I looked online and I found the Superga. I've actually got shoes from this brand. They're kind of like a pink, super beachy, summery sneaker. They've got like a platform, but they're not really good for kind of like every day. And I found these online, which were actually on sale. And these are really similar to their really classic sneaker that they've got. And I love those as well. I was actually going to buy those first until when I kept looking, I actually saw these as well that they've got. So this is the sneakers that I got. Super pretty really white i feel like they don't have a lot of detail on them which is kind of what i wanted they've got the superga brand logo right there the little shoelace um what are they called like eyelet shoelace eyelets are gold and they've got supergas on them as well it's got a kind of like a beige tab in the back and the soles look really rubbery as well which i think will be good in rainy weather like it always rains in melbourne anyway so that would be amazing i think they're kind of like a canvas style material and they're just really pretty i feel like they look really classic and just simple so i'm really excited about these and they were on sale for 50 dollars, which was amazing these are the 2750 suede heel tab and they're in the white beige eggshell color so, so this is the tab that they come in I'm gonna try them on and see how they go maybe wear them around the house and just see you know the size if it fits well and just yeah but otherwise I think these are really cool I feel like I was really missing a classic white sneaker in my wardrobe the next thing is clothing related so I did a little bit of shopping just browsing the stores I went H&M Zara I tried a few things on it cause as well which were really beautiful but I actually bought this on sale at H&M. It's just this like little baby doll top and I thought it was so cute. I love all the detail on it. It's got this little tie at the front and then this detail around the neck. Then they've got just this really cool big puffy sleeves and I thought it was really cute. It was on sale for like $18 I think so very cute and very girly. I feel like it's good for summer and just... You could wear it with a little mini skirt, with some jeans, or just dress it up or dress it down, make it more casual. So yeah, I really like this one. I thought it was very cute, so happy with this. The next thing I got is actually a blazer from Target. So I actually like to look at Target for more like workwear clothes. I've got a really good collection. I had this blazer. It's part of their preview collection, and I actually got it in a size 12, just because the size 10 that I normally get was a little bit too small. I just didn't really like how it fit on me. This is the pattern of the blazer. And I think it's kind of similar to like a houndstooth type of pattern and fabric, but it's got kind of a blue, green, and red and black tone to it. But I think all up it looks really nice and kind of, I feel like it can be dressed up or dressed down. I kind of specifically got it to wear for work and I've got a few business trips and conferences that I need to go to for work. So I thought this would be really nice to kind of have as a good outfit builder and then I could just change my bases as well. So 
it's got pockets and then it's also got these buttons here and the pockets are actually real which is really good and that's the back as well so this was a really good find and this one was $60 which I thought was a really good price as well the next two items that I'll show you were actually second hand I was just looking at this store one time and they had a $2 rack and I found this little mini dress, which I thought was so pretty. I couldn't believe it was in the $2 section. It's just got little flowers on it and then it's all black. And it's kind of got this ruched fabric as well. Next thing that I picked up is this really nice black silky dress. It's kind of like a nightgown type of dress and it is the brand... Simone Perel, which I actually know this brand and I really like their stuff, but it was second hand but with the tags on. So I think because there was a whole bunch of stuff from this brand on the same rack, I think that the brand donated it to the second hand shop. So it's in brand new condition and I've already used it a few times and it's so nice. It's so beautiful to sleep in and it is real silk as well. So I think this is such a nice find i was so happy with this as well i think it was about ten dollars so i just finished work and i just got ready to go to my friend's opening night for her art gallery she's an artist and she creates some beautiful art and she's just organizing a opening night for her gallery and i actually thought i would wear my new mini dress that i thrifted that i showed you earlier i think this will be probably the best option for tonight it's really hot today so I think this will be good. I also have my coach bag and for shoes I'm probably just gonna wear my ballet flats that I've worn so many times now but I feel like it just goes with everything. Mm -hmm. Attracted to your child, boy. The summer when we kiss beginning.